How did Lindsay's parents contribute to the wrong choices she made in her life? Why didn't Charlie Sheen like working with her? And why did Lowen compare herself to Vladimir Putin? Hi, I'm Janet. Let's find out. Like parents, like daughter. Born in the Bronx and raised on Long Island, little Lindsay was a true New Yorker. Her father, Michael, was a former Wall Street trader, and her mother, Dina, used to be a dancer. Both of her parents later became TV personalities by virtue of their daughter's fame. Lindsay has three younger siblings, so her family was big, but it certainly wasn't the happiest one. When Lindsay was only three, her parents separated. Later, they reunited, but their marriage didn't last. However, when Lindsay's parents were married, her dad was rarely there for her. At the same time when her career was on the rise, Michael Lowen was involved in a case of insider trading and later convicted of inappropriate behavior by the court. Even after his daughter became a world-renowned star, he kept on breaking the law. Repeatedly charged with attempted assault, driving under the influence, and even suspected domestic violence, Michael spent quite a lot of time either in police custody or in jail. And his wife Dina, Lindsay's mother, is also no angel. Dina Lowen was arrested for speeding and driving under the influence at least twice, and she was once sentenced to 100 hours of community service. So it looks like Lindsay had quite a couple of role models right from the start. If you forgot about her problems with the law, keep watching, because we'll get to them soon. Success knocked on Lowen's door very early. Lindsay became a child model for Ford Models at the tender age of three. In the span of a few years, she worked for Abercrombie and Calvin Klein Kids and appeared in ads for Pizza Hut, Jell-O, and Wendy's. Overall, TV viewers could see Little Lindsay in over 60 commercials. Whoa, that's a lot for a young girl. At the age of 10, Lindsay got a role in the long-running soap opera Another World, and Soap Opera Magazine even referred to her as a show business veteran. But even bigger fame was still ahead. After staying in Another World for a year, Lindsay moved on to land the dual role in Disney's The Parent Trap. The movie was a hit. Lowen played twin sisters who were separated at birth, but later met by accident and came up with a plot to reunite their parents. Critics praised Lindsay's performance, and one of the reviewers even called her the soul of this film. More roles brought her even more success. In Disney's family comedy, Freaky Friday, she played the daughter of Jamie Lee Curtis, and then, after they switched bodies, the mother of Jamie Lee Curtis. Even now, it remains Lindsay's most commercially successful film. It earned $160 million and received an 87% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Then came Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen and, of course, Mean Girls, the movie that solidified Lowen's career as an actress and a teen idol. But Lindsay apparently wanted more, because along with developing a blossoming acting career, she also began singing. She wrote soundtracks to her movies, and her debut album, Speak, even went platinum. Soon, Lowen was a household name, and the paparazzi began following her every step. The New York Times critic once mentioned that Lilo was a genuine star who seems completely at home on the screen. Lindsay was at the height of her fame, and it looked like nothing could stop the young starlet. But as her success grew, so did her attendance at the New York nightclubs. Combined with her personal issues, the actress soon started on a downward spiral. Her sudden decline came with legal issues. In 2007, Lindsay got arrested twice for driving under the influence and for reckless driving. Both times, the authorities found a small amount of cocaine in her possession, so small that it was even impossible to charge her with it. But still, rehab was mandatory for her, and in that same year, she did three stints in rehab. According to a CNN report, Lowen spent a total of 250 days in rehab in the period from 2007 till 2012. While working on Georgia Rule, Lindsay even received a letter threatening her with legal action from the movie CEO because she always arrived late to set, when she showed up at all. Lindsay had a cameo on Glee, but she was reportedly a total nightmare to work with. She came incredibly late, didn't memorize her lines, and would frequently just disappear. Even her anger management co-star Charlie Sheen, who's not easy to work with either, once said that it was tough to deal with her on set. It seemed weird that Lindsay had gone from a Hollywood sweetheart to a partying addict with legal issues and a weak work ethic. But if you look into her personal problems at that time, you begin to realize that even fame, money, and the adoration of her fans couldn't help her cope. At the peak of Lowen's fame, her parents finalized their divorce, and since she was so famous, the whole issue was actively reported on in the press. So an experience that was already traumatic became even harder for the actress. 
Lindsay's father, Michael, once confirmed that their divorce played a considerable role in Lowen's unhealthy choices. I don't think that she should have taken any of the blame for what happened to her, Michael said. It's my fault and Dina's fault. We put her in the middle of the divorce. Lindsay herself never blamed her parents for her addiction issues. In a candid conversation with Oprah, the actress admitted that she could only blame herself for her problems. I'm my own worst enemy, Lowen explained, and I know that. But it was still possible to see the silver lining in the situation. According to Michael Lowen, Lindsay's struggles brought their family back together. He and Dina didn't get remarried, but they did become closer while helping their daughter. Attempted comebacks met by harsh critics Even when that hard period was over, it took years for Lindsay to recover, and it became exceedingly hard to get back on track. But she kept trying. I want my career back, Lindsay once told Vanity Fair. I know that I'm a damn good actress. Lowen also admitted to the publication that she realized that she was irresponsible. To get back on top, she continued working on her new songs and taking up new roles. Lindsay played Elizabeth Taylor in a TV movie, Liz and Dick, about the iconic actress's relationship with actor Richard Burton. But the film received generally negative reviews. The Hollywood Reporter called Lowen's performance spectacularly bad, while Entertainment Weekly mocked her blank stare and frozen face. Then came the erotic thriller The Canyons, which received a 22% rating on Rotten Tomatoes and had mostly negative reviews from critics and viewers alike. Although this time Lowen's performance was praised, the movie didn't relaunch her career. Later, she released a docuseries on Oprah Winfrey's network about herself and her life after rehab. At first, the audience was curious and wanted to get a glimpse into the actress's struggles, but most viewers had unfortunately lost interest by the finale. The show was called boring and surprisingly routine. Later on, Lindsay appeared in a couple of cameos and had a lead part in a satire play, Speed the Plow. But nothing seemed to help her career. Lowen didn't get any roles at all for a few years, and her music career appeared to be forgotten. After the first unsuccessful attempt, Lowen decided to try once again and release another docuseries last year, an MTV reality show called Lindsay Lowen's Beach Club. The show focused on the actress managing her beach club in Mykonos, Greece, and showed a group of troublemaking millennials working for her. And it also gave viewers a glimpse into Lowen's future career plans. Here's a fun fact. In the premiere episode of Lowen's Beach Club, the actress said to her business partner and co-star, Panos Spentos, the second you become emotional, I'm going to become Vladimir Putin. I have no emotion when it comes to money and business. Like, what? Interestingly, later, in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Lowen admitted that she doesn't even know why she said that. Although the idea of the show might sound exciting to some, it didn't work again. The Hollywood Reporter called the show vapid and tedious, while the Chicago Tribune said that it was a deeply sad viewing experience. Either because of the reviews or because she got bored of it herself, quite soon after the launching of the show, Lowen decided to ditch it, and the beach club itself as well. And as if all these failures aren't enough, the actress is still struggling with other issues. A few years ago, Lowen confessed to People magazine that she still attends Alcoholics Anonymous meetings to stay clean. I was going out too much and I knew that, and I have more to live for than that, the actress commented. So what is it that she wants to live for? Hoping for a second chance at Hollywood. Apparently, Lowen is still optimistic regardless of all the troubles she's been through. Three years ago, speaking with Fox News, the actress revealed, I decided to make some big changes in my life, and getting back on track with work was one of them. I changed my outlook on life, the people I was hanging out with, my management. Everything combined has had such a positive outcome. It's great to see her being so optimistic. Looks like Lindsay absolutely refuses to give up on her fame, and she's still fighting to get back on top. But is she choosing the right way to do it? When the Me Too movement began in Hollywood, the actress came into the limelight again, but not in a good way. While insisting that she supports women who faced abuse and harassment, she suggested that they were talking about it only to get attention. I think by women speaking against all these things, it makes them look weak when they are very strong women, Lowen said to UK's The Times. What's more, she also defended Harvey Weinstein at the time. I feel very bad for Harvey Weinstein right now. I don't think it's right what's going on," the actress said in an Instagram video post, but deleted it shortly after. Lindsay, what were you thinking? Like many other things, her words showed us the bizarre side of the girl from The Parent Trap. But she's still full of enthusiasm. Lowen's currently working on a movie script, and she's just released a new single for an upcoming studio album. 
If everything goes well, it's going to be the first one in 15 years. Critics received Low and Single back to me very positively. Entertainment Weekly wrote that the song is infectious and catchy. Bustle remarked that it shows how Lindsay is ready to accept her past and move on, while Uproxx described it as an empowering anthem. Maybe this success will finally help her make the first step back to the top and help others forget the troubles that became so closely associated with Lindsay. As reported by the New York Times, this is what the former starlet wants the most. I'm a normal nice person, a good person, I don't have any bad intentions, and my past has to stay the past. Isn't it time for it to finally happen? What do you think about Lindsay? Do you believe she deserves a second chance in Hollywood? Share in the comments! Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay awesome! Thanks for watching!